What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Impulsive, the number three podcast in the world, right after Nelk and Joe Rogan. And that's it for today's podcast. Thanks. Take for it that. easy. So guys, so I just uh, look. I'm hinting at this. Is it looks like a knockoff version of Impulsive. How the, so back, the background does because look. It, it's you. It's a makeshift set. We're here in Joshua Tree. We have a knockoff George Janko and a knockoff Logan Paul. I'd be the knockoff Logan Paul. You'd be the same. Is same it guy. Be, what? Because of your breathtaking good looks. Um. Yeah, I'm an athlete. I'm uh, I have a mullet. When girls ask me what Jeff I'm with, I say hot, either manager Jeff or hot Jeff. But that's fucked up to manager Jeff. I mean, no, it's not. Jeff knows he's not hot Jeff. And it also is like, it really is more fucked up to you because it just really goes to show that it's all you're working with. You know what I'm saying? It's just those breathtaking good looks. Yeah. And they, I mean, an excavator could take care of that at any second. That's true. That's true. Looks yeah. fade, but personality and intelligence is forever two things we have none of today let's just give a little story of why we're not in the set we are out in joshua tree in an airbnb this was mike's idea because he had to shoot a sex toy brand deal and well it was more than that and was, we wanted to a... get away yeah let me, this is my show all right okay, sure. just take a, a back seat to this like yep. you do over at impulsive yep I'm going to stop being so disrespectful. No, you can't. I, I mean, appreciate that, that, You were right up until the last part. Well, actually, if you guys are listening or watching, this is probably... Uh, we're probably actually in Europe right now towards the end of our vacation. And this trip was just kind of a little pre-vacation because some of the guys are not able to go out to Europe. And they're not going to be there with Mike and Kyle and the whole gang out in Mykonos. And we got the Italy trip with my parents. It's going to be tons of fun, but Steven can't make it on this. Because I'm too busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy doing brandles on TikTok. Can I wear this like this? Yeah. Does it play? I just can't think of any other way to wear, <laughs> to wear the hat with, <laughs> with the headphones on. You look like a cartoon. Does it work? It works. Look I, at these. Look at these. I, re really quickly, too. Like, look at our get-ups right now. Like, but... I didn't even really try that hard, but me and you right now look like we should be exactly where we are. Uh -huh. Like, look at my slippers. Can you get those on the... This is desert style. We there got the go, desert go. style down. I like that you are on the couch with me. I'm not at a desk. We are equals. Steven is still slightly below us. Yeah. He's on the other side. You sent, me a, cam. you sent me a picture earlier of after you scared, your, or Kyle scared me with that garbage can last night. And I sent it to Logan and he said, I'm sick of your anatomy. Because one of my tits popped out in the picture. My boob was fully exposed. <laughs> he said, I'm sick of your anatomy, bro. He he wants me to get it together. Because the rest of the crew over there is pretty... They work out pretty hard. You know what you should have said? I do what I want when I want. I mean, basically, that's what I did say. I just... <laughs> I, I hate to put out this kind of message. Because it's important that the youth understands that, that physical uh, fitness is, po is important. And I go to the gym, but more for the mental side. But I really, really wholeheartedly don't give a fuck. Yeah, I think that's obvious. Anything. You, ha you we, uh, we had that video go viral of the holes in your socks, yep. and that was real. You yep. know, that's just who you are. And I, I like the whole I don't give a fuck thing about you when it comes to fashion or uh, fitness or, you know, it, it, you, don't, you don't need it. You're I just feel like I, I'm trying to, you know, and I'm not even trying, but I think it mirrors the, the, the general public you know what i'm saying i mean dude i'm not trying to be some sort of fucking sculpture of christopher with the test with the dick out as a statue speaking of that it's funny you brought that up because i have an assistant a gay assistant <laughs> his name's ivan and i asked him to help set up this europe trip with my family and we have a leg of the trip in florence and the only thing he booked for us was to go see the statue of david you know the naked man yeah I mean, I don't really want to make a whole day out of just going to see this naked statue, but they say you got to do I'm it. I'm a big fan of putting meat in my mouth. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's an important part of the Italian culture. It's one of the most, what, what is it, at the Duomo in Florence? See, here's the thing really quick, and it's another reason why I really don't give a fuck about, you know, man boobs and shit like that. I could talk about the Duomo with you. I could talk about that statue. If you named any letter right now, I could name a periodic element that matches up with that letter F. in seconds. Fucking fuck! You may have named the only one. I was doing it last. Should we retake it? I know, but that's wait. F would be is was fluoride one? No, that's like the dentist. Wait, wait, fuck, dude. Fuck. Fahrenheit is temperature, bro. Oh shit. Um, we were flowing last night. Wait, try. Let me get one more. Um, Z. No. Zinc. A. T. Argon. T. R. 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 Radon. You made that up. I don't. I let's check it out. It's radium. Yeah, Radon's one, 222, motherfuckers, RN. Mike, let's get into a, a story about last night. When you made those cheeseburgers, come on, brother. Them joints were Oof. dry. Can we talk about last night? As long as we talk about it, like, 
skillfully and neatly. It's a tough topic for me to talk about because obviously I wrote a book about this and I'm very. Oh. It's just it's a tricky topic, right? Yeah, no, I said that because like, yeah, I get, I get what you're trying to say like, right? Like so, a pastor can't go to the bar or something like that. That's like a pastor walking into a strip club. Yeah. Like a, like nah, a nah, nah. Well, it depends. Listen, according to the big book, which is the book of uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, whatever. You need to remain fully abstinent from drugs and alcohol in your recovery. Okay. I wrote about this in the fifth vital. I don't follow the norms and guidelines of any specific program. Okay. And I also talked about the fact that I'm not condoning that behavior or path for anybody else in the, in the space that I'm in. If, if AA and NA works for you, that's fantastic. Please go and abstain from everything. Abstain from, from, uh, you know, deviant sexual intercourse, gambling, and all the things that have addictive properties to them. I'm fine with that. I personally don't subscribe to that path. If you want to call me California sober, you want to call me a lazy, uh, person, in, uh, a lazy person in sobriety, where I'm going with this is yes, occasionally, rarely, maybe once or twice a year, I partake in uh, natural substances that have, <sighs> yeah, I know, right? That have psychological and psychedelic. Well, no, don't applause. I did mushrooms last night, guys. Because, so. But, but uh, I'm sorry. I, know I microdose seems, mushrooms. Shit. They grow out of the earth. They're all natural. <laughs> I, I, know don't, it seems I don't do hard. alcohol. I know it seems easy for you to say, but for me, there's more background. But I know. Okay, so last um, night, let's talk about last well, no, night. No, I know. I have to finish this. It's oh. deeper than just, yo, I make TikToks. Like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I know, what? but that's where you're going. You want to make a quick seven second piece out of this and fucking throw it up with the lady that goes, Logan Paul's friends and all his money. Yeah, we'll get there, but we need to talk about how we came up with that and where that came from. Okay, about but can I, can I complete this thought? Of course, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing that people know about me is that I continue to, Steven, I can't do this with you. Because you're smiling, laughing, and no, thinking about like you're smiling. thinking. I, I, if I can guess what be you're respectful, thinking, be respectful. Be respectful. If I'm I can think about what you're guess, you're thinking Mike, of right now, I'm it's, smiling. It's, it's microwave pizzas. Are you thinking about those little circular microwave microwave pizzas no, right I now? I don't like those. I like bagel I like, buns. No, I don't. Oh, I pizza like rolls. I those any day, but what, all of those things all roll up into one category, which is what microwave foods. No, no, no microwave what foods. No, don't even microwave. <laughs> microwave what foods? If he, if he, I, there's there's no W. There's in no E in, or not, W. I'm not in it. E and I, and once again, I have to tell you this: you're not from Maryland. You're not from it, bro. You clearly are from somewhere around the area of Fargo, North Dakota. That makes no sense. <laughs> okay, Steven, it's good to have you back. We miss your dumb face. Um, <laughs> your dead dumb face. <laughs> Steven and I drove out here together in my old truck, and the AC broke. It was, it was a bonding experience to say the yeah. least. I had a, a joke that I thought was really funny and you didn't like it at all. We were passing by those windmills. So it was hot and I was like, Steven, are you hot? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, it's cause the fans are broken. And I thought he would pick Is up on the joke, joke, but he goes, oh, those, that's where the wind comes from. <laughs> <laughs> They're made by the wind is made by it's artificially human made, made wind mills. human wind. Yeah. <laughs> had you had any feud that day or like what was going on? <laughs> no, I just thought that like they spin. It's very windy in the area. So actually. what? You think maybe it was like because it's a desert and we needed extra wind, so they built windmills. Where the fuck does yes. wind come from? That was his face. Yeah, like, where does wind shock. come from? Yeah, actually, anyone in here can't answer where wind comes from. Someone told me it's from the waves <laughs> one time. I actually, I actually can't answer that. I yeah, no exactly. Fire. I thought it came from windmills. Was, no, I'm, windmills are powered by wind. Yes, correct. Oh. It makes energy. It, I don't know what the fuck. We're not no, yes, no. Windmills create energy. The turbine spins because of the natural occurring phenomenon that is wind. It spins the turbine. That energy is then collected mm, into a bank remember. and then distributed as electricity and other power. I think I'm in school right now. You are in school, bro. <laughs> like, listen up, dude. Or you're going to go to detention later. The sun's energy heats the planet's surface most intensely at the equator, which causes air to rise. The rising air creates an area of low pressure at the surface in, <sighs> into which cooler air is sucked. And it is the flow of air. So that's that's how that's how wind comes. By from. the way, dude, like learn something. I just learned something. If you can be an intellectual, funny, tell girls where wind comes from, it's gonna help you. One day you ain't gonna, cause you ain't ever gonna do what he does and just simply show off your washboard abs and they're gonna fucking try to fuck you, dude. You okay. got to do what I have so to I do. So I need to remember where wind comes from. Okay. Well, Stephen, one day you might be driving the car with your family. You might have a wife and two kids in the back seat, and they're gonna say, "Daddy, where does wind come from? Why are those fans broken?" And you're not gonna 
you're gonna say, well, those fans make the win, and then your kids are gonna go to school, and they're gonna they're gonna say in school to other kids. Oh, the the windmills make the wind, and they're gonna get they're bullied. Beat up. They're gonna get beat up. Yeah, they're gonna get slammed in a locker. Then that's the lesson they learn in life. You not shut that baby up. That's a long <laughs> fucking. Maybe they should learn, like you know, don't listen to me, don't listen to daddy. You know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. To learn the hard way. It's common, common. <laughs> figure it out. Common Stephen. <laughs> figure it out. Common Stephen L. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had to teleport back to the studio real quick to thank today's sponsors. Today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code Jeff. SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far the best way to buy tickets. With so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. I'm talking Bad Bunny, The Weeknd, Post Malone, Lizzo, and so much more. I'm I talking got, fights. I got my Bad Bunny tickets right here. Look at that. Oscar's got his Bad Bunny tickets. He's got the app on his phone. You should too. Seeky wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means a good deal. Red means bad. And don't worry, I got the hookup. Use code Jeff for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Jeff. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring the show. So... Like I was saying, it, studies are have been being done for the past, you know, call it decade. Into it's motivational. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Try it. Just, you're gonna say something dope right, right now. I feel it. No, I don't have it. Trust me. I'm I'm mushy. Um, into psilocybin, and it. You're not doing a good job selling the because I because I have this distraction, and I'm also not trying to sell it. I'm just I'm just talking about things that are happening. Name right, another I'm letter. Sorry, name I'm another sorry. letter for the periodic table. Look, last night I was trying no, no, to no, rewire no. my no. neurological. That's pathways. what I'm trying to get into. But you guys keep fucking me up. What does the periodic table have to do with last night? Mike? Oh man. Okay. Let's all just take all right. a break. Let's take a break for a I second. Hit the I reset. The line. Hit the reset. I really crossed the line. I'm sorry, Mike. Beautiful. Beautiful. Meditation. Over the past couple of years, I've been suffering from depression, and I wanted to rewire my neurological pathways. So when Mike suggested, let's go out to Joshua Tree, have a nice little guys trip, maybe we'll partake in taking mushrooms. I was a little scared at first. I said, hey, Mike, I don't know about that. He goes, Psh, everybody's doing it. And I was whoa, like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, whoa. if you put it like I, that. No, see, this is where... On this particular topic. Okay, if we're I'm, kidding, have I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No jokes, no yeah. jokes, no Your jokes. It needs, we need to, oh, this is probably the only conversation we need to be sensitive about. Yes. Can we do another meditation moment? Psilocybin has been proven to reconnect broken neural pathways in the brain. So your, your brain... What's psilocybin? The active ingredient in, in magic mushrooms, for mm-hmm. anyone who didn't know that, has been known to... Repair neural pathways. It is very important for feeling, emotion, and, and, and healthy cognitive function of the brain for the neural pathways in one section of the brain to communicate freely and efficiently with neural pathways in the other, in the other part of the brain. Those become broken due to PTSD, due to stress, due to other traumas in life. And it is currently believed that psilocybin helps to mend those pathways. So the psychoactive ingredient has a true long lasting benefit on one's life. I'm not once again, condoning the use of them, but I, you know, for myself, I believe that there's, that the studies are, are pretty, that there is evidence, empirical evidence to prove that that is the case. So we took medicine. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the right way to look at it. That's exactly the right way to look at it. It's a medicine that helps, that helps you fix. And, and now listen, should I do it tonight? No, stop. No, no. You already missed taken, it. Taken in the right setting with the right people, with the right dosage, with the right intentions. Vibes. The right vibes. Uh, and, a, and a curated and refined vibe state. Refined vibe. You're yes. Right. Then, it, then it can have a meaningful impact on your life. And so, you know, listen, this is the first time I'm talking about this openly. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I, I hope that I'm doing a good job of, of getting the point across. Now, I, once again, not, not condoning it, but I do encourage people to look it up. Obviously, you've got Joe Rogan. You've got all these other guys, you know, touting the um, the uh, The guy benefits. that wears the mushroom hat. He knows a lot of stuff about it. I listened to his episode 
on Joe Rogan when he talked about it. I and think it's more. I think it's more prevalent than anyone could imagine right now. I think it's becoming decriminalized in a lot of states. Are, are, is mushrooms addictive? No. No. no, no, absolutely not. So why do people care? No, no one person would criticize you for doing mushrooms if it's not. I mean, I'm sure there's like. Drug. I'm sure similarly to weed, there's potentially a, a psychological addictive possibility. I wouldn't call it completely non-addictive, but it's but it's not. You know, they grow. They grow out of the earth. No, there's well, no. It's they, grow it's yeah, they grow on shit. they grow on shit. They grow on cow shit, and there's nobody that comes around and injects psilocybin into them or anything like that. It's not the guy that builds the fans that create the wind on the earth. <laughs> I believe that the subconscious is the the root of all of your creativity and and the, and the meaningful things that you produce in this life. The raw subconscious, the 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 sentient imagination state that exists deep within your your brain right and over that in your everyday life there's a filter that exists and so every time you go to uh engage that subconscious you have to go through 400 layers of why is that person looking at me like that oh my god those cabinets are brown oh it's kind of hot in here are my armpits sweaty yo my feet feel kind of weird nope. oh my god did i pay my bills yesterday oh my god my computer is 23 percent check instagram check instagram check instagram check that's facebook freak check you out what that's not freak you out it does freak me out what listen to what i'm saying so your access to your subconscious to your raw creative state is blocked by these filters that exist over over inside your mind every single day. I believe that psilocybin allows you to break down that barrier, to break down those filters and have access for three to four to five hours to your raw subconscious to glean learnings and, 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 and further intentions for your life. Am I becoming a fucking hippie? Should I go back to the East Coast? Or is what I'm saying, or is East what I'm Coast saying correct? Right hey, are. if you're becoming no. a hippie, then so am I, because I feel great. I feel like I unlocked a new chapter in my brain, a new like, I don't know, it's on, something on this side where I got smashed in by the crane Probably and I, I rewired those pathways, those neurological pathways. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting pissed off? I'm not No, 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 I'm not. I know, I, I know you're not. No, I want to hear your side. I'm, so for I'm, the past month or so, I smashed my septum in and everything and I've just, I don't know if it's stress, my teeth have been hurting, everything's all fucked up and today... After that whole experience, I just feel refreshed. I don't know. I feel, I feel like a brand new man. That's good. So before we go any further, um, I, I do want to mention today's episode is sponsored by the first ever Mushrooms. recreational <laughs> psilocybin treatment. <laughs> no, <I was> <laughs> you could go to Co Aurora, Colorado. Um, I noticed last night that my ankle, which has caused me great discomfort and pain for probably the past 10 years as you know i can't run i can't even stand on it for very long at this point it's completely fucked i felt no pain in it last night but what about now yeah i mean the pain's back yeah okay. but, but what i'm saying is it's it's funny because like buddhists and people of like great uh mental capability and psychological states talk a lot about the importance of being able to uh uh, revise or rethink your perspective on pain. Pain is really just a reaction that takes place in the brain. It's your ankle isn't hurting. Your brain is telling you that there's pain. Yeah, so that's why painkillers mm. could... Exactly. And of course, painkillers are terrible. Yeah. They're great in, if, if needed for terminal ill, whatever. Or right? even but like a Motrin or an Advil or something. It's just blocking that receptor. No, those brain. aren't. No, no, no. no, no. Ty Tylenol and Advil and stuff are, are simply blood. I think they just thin the blood. Actually? And allow, yeah, and allow aspirin. Yeah, I think it? so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, you could fact check me on that. This, this is becoming a, a really um, top topical episode. But I wonder how many things you got wrong so far. Uh, probably a few. <laughs> probably a few. I'm doing the best I can. I mean, I didn't plan yeah, any yeah, of this, yeah, yeah. but this is all just based on my 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 understanding. Of and things. especially after the three hours of sleep we got in the past three days. Yeah. You're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, but it was weird because you know, like I in that moment I wasn't feeling pain because my my relationship with the pain was changed because of my mental state at the time, you know, which is, which is interesting. You want to talk about little, little hot dogs <laughs> or you want to talk about like, so look, what we were talking about before, uh, Mike kept bringing up refined vibes. Now <laughs> you want to be in an atmosphere with a bunch of people that are all kind of on the same page as you. Wavelength. They're, they're all on the same wavelength. Right. Now, everybody at the, I'd, I don't know if I'd call it a party, but last night there was maybe like five, six, seven, eight of us. 
And you were the only one that chose not to do them. You just wanted to get shit faced drunk, which respectfully that you know, I think that's worse for your body. Oh no, but, of course it is. What do you but, mean? But you know, you chose to do that. I'm not peer pressuring you, whatever. Uh, now you ask today, should I take mushrooms now when everybody else is not on them? Um, and I don't know what it is with taking mushrooms, but I kept feeling like every time I looked at you. You were staring at us. <laughs> what? Yeah, like, like, do Yo, you feel I it yet? Do you feel it yet? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? Yeah. I can't swear every time I look at you. Like, do you feel like, it yet? And you, you were, were real, you were bad vibes, bro. What? You were, you were trying to fuck around with the Mark Zuckerberg right. shit. It wasn't your phone, bro. It was just you. <laughs> yeah, what are yeah. you doing? Yo, every five minutes he would show us a, this his background, which was just Mark Zuckerberg's like alien like face, oh, <laughs> hundreds of times over. And what yeah, do you call? Yeah. What do you call you on TikTok? The the vibe killer? No, what's it vibe called? Killer. No, what's it called? Like with a person that watches you. Oh, uh, the what? trip sitter. Trip sitter. Yeah. That's what you, well, why do you, why are you arguing me? Like, you don't know what I'm talking nightmare, about. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. at one point, <laughs> at one point, me and Jeff went to explore. Cause, cause by the way, for people that don't know about Joshua Tree, it's this, it's this, uh, <laughs> idyllic, you know, beautiful desert setting. Like if we, if we panned out and I don't know if you guys can see out the window at all, but it's just open desert landscape with cacti and coyotes and it's very natural and so me and jeff ventured out into the desert last night <laughs> under the feet. moonlight 15 <laughs> feet but that was far enough into the into you know away from the lights a little bit and all of a sudden a <laughs> fat naked man came <laughs> jumping through the fucking bushes came on the bench. screaming nightmare 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 <laughs> like i got him and then barper bathroom boy I'm walking down the stairs in this complete flow state loving my life and he pulls the top off an aluminum garbage can and smashes it on a fucking wall no, I punched it really hard next to my next to my head it I thought been for some head. reason everything was like a cartoon last night I thought he was gonna slam you in the face with it I was no, like whoa Kyle you fucking I was gonna do that last second but I, I hurt myself before you I know but you scared the shit out of me do you have the, do you have the screenshot of me at when it uh, happened it's all with Jeff and that affected him for about an hour. No, a good no, hour. no, no. I was like, it was no, like no, no. Minutes, and then David minutes. discovered the moon last David night. David discovered the moon last. I got some notes. David discovered the moon. Funniest shit is when he pulled his phone out to take a picture of the moon, and he's like, "Yo, look at this. This is crazy." Imagine looking at that picture today. You know, you go into your phone, and it's just a black sky. It's just like a shitty I told, I told Kyle it looked like if you went out in the middle of the day and you looked through an empty toilet paper roll. Yeah. Into, I was the, like, into the no, he like had the a, sky. What do you think you got here? The James Webb telescope? He got his You're VHS fucking, cam, and he zoomed in on he it. He goes, Mike, Mike, bro, I a, found the moon. It's a street lamp. We go, bro, it's been there the whole night. It's literally right fucking. How'd you find it? What are you, Christopher Columbus for astronomy? <laughs> So another thing I do any anytime I, I do that is I, I take notes. And I think it's really important that you mark down realizations that you have. Um, throughout the course of the night, I had realizations on de-escalation of arguments and uh, how I thought about myself in, in certain social settings. Um, Jeff wanted to light off a Roman candle all night. And, and so, so here's the thing. When we talk about the right settings for this stuff, it depends on who you are as a person. I, I'm out here looking for like life realizations, observations. <laughs> These motherfuckers just want to kill everything. They want to smash garbage cans, jump out of places <laughs> naked, rub their tiny dicks in your face. Bro, we're just living to, life. He wants to. It's it, yeah, but it's not the time for it. He wants to shoot off fireworks and smack American cheese on babies. I'll be honest, like I microdosed, so I was kind of like the Charles Manson. Everybody else did the drugs around me, and I was like just a little high. You, yeah, do you guys know? I told you guys about that last night, right? What? That's so what the Manson, cult leader does. So, he won't well, get not too all fucked of them. up. No, not too fucked up. Manson used to give LSD, which is obviously 50,000 times stronger than mushrooms, to all of his disciples so that they can relate to each other on a, on a psychedelic level, level, but he wouldn't take it. Well, I couldn't look too weak in front of all my guys. You know, the bathroom boys are watching me. I'm supposed to be the leader. Wait, and if I, we were chilling on the hammock. I know, we were chilling. I had I a great we time, and I, I, was, I was vibing. I had the perfect amount. It was perfect for me. I, uh, um, I loved it. It was a great night. Well, he did end up firing off the Roman candle mm -hmm. against all wishes. I, so another part of the story that's, that we're kind of leaving out is it, it, it was all the boys were out there, but then there was a wild card. We were joined by two of the hottest current adult film stars in the world who also were in the in the rabbit hole with us so we're with emily willison and sky Bree. hopefully they don't mind me saying this i'll just ask him after the f I, my guess is they wouldn't give a single fuck but he's I'll pissing outside i don't yeah, care yeah. i don't fucking care um 
So, uh, <laughs> you know, that's a dynamic shifter as well. You know, you got these two hot girls there fucking going through the experience with you. You, you had the, the Roman candle, and at one point you were asking me if you could light it off, and I said no, bro, because the cops are going to come to the fucking Airbnb. I'm going to get pissed off. And one of the girls told him, do it. You know, and Jeff, the ever malleable, just said, uh, whoops, Mike, sorry, it was an accident. And he had this 10-year-old fucking Roman candle that was like this impotent fucking firework. It's been in the back of my truck for like, like shot, three like years in the inches. sun. It was so, a weak Roman candle. So it was a weak Roman candle, except for the fact that two minutes later, I looked at where it was shooting it, and the, the fucking flaming fireballs were shooting directly into a full 50-foot propane canister. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess since full Joshua the- Tree is just out in the desert, they have to power the power or the gas is just these big, giant propane tanks that are in the backyard. I didn't know it was down there, so I'm trying to shoot it away from us for safety, and I'm shooting it directly at this propane giant propane I said, tank that looks like a, an atomic bomb. I said, do you know what the headline for this looks like? <laughs> two YouTubers and two adult film stars high on mushrooms vaporized <laughs> immediately. I, I, think, I think it'd be like Logan Paul's friend. Logan and Paul's Jeff friend and Jeff, and Jeff Wittick's co-defendant vaporized <laughs> alongside two porn stars in Joshua Tree after a ro- an anti- antiquated Roman candle explosion. Mike, what's, like, what's bro, worse? That? And, then they, and then the only person that survived was Steven, and he has to give remarks on it. No cap. It was, <laughs> it was lit. No cap. That for real, for real. And again, <laughs> and, it gets, and it gets covered that on... shit was fine. It gets covered on speed stream. On speed stream. Yo, chat! Yo, chat! Check, yo, chat! Check this out, chat! Check this out, chat! Did you Aiden see what Ross, happened in Aiden Joshua Tree, chat? Yo, it. chat! Drop L's in the chat for the dead people chat. Drop L's in the chat for the dead people chat. Andrew Tate reacts to it. See, if I was ever blown up like this, I would simply put my hand up like this to stop the explosion. What you don't understand about boys like this is they don't work out enough. They don't do their push-ups. No, he doesn't. He says you don't have to work out. Are you actually fat and lazy? Yeah. <laughs> he would just say that the reason why y'all died is because y'all were, bro- he would be like, they're brokies. Brokies. They, 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 yeah. Brokies blow up. Oh, if you're a brokey, you explode. I would not explode. I have four Bugattis. So I would not explode. You deserve what happens to your dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> so what would be worse after experiencing that situation? Jeff shooting fireworks at the propane tank or Steven with the bleach? So it's, 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 <laughs> it's different. And, it was pretty cool how Mike takes these notes. It was very Hunter S. Thompson-esque. I don't know if you guys know who that is. You probably don't. Today's episode is also sponsored by Dadgrass. It's too nice out to be too damn high. Just because we've aged out summer break doesn't mean we don't need to chill out. Ditch the munchies, paranoia, and potency of today's weed with Dadgrass. Dadgrass is legal organic hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Dadgrass CBD products are made with 100% organic hemp. That's easy to dose and the effects come on smooth. They offer a variety of products from their token smokable pre-rolled joints, as well as hemp flower and variety of CBD tincture drops. Enjoy the effects of CBD while keeping a clear head. All Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over, and it ships right to your door anywhere in the US. Go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm to check out their products. Whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite, Dadgrass will leave you in a euphoric mood. Right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm. Go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm for 20% off your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash jefffm. Emily, come sit in. Hey, come on. We're talking about the story from last night. It's been a problem for a long time. You've always been a big faller. But I noticed last night that your falls become exponentially worse as the night goes on. And <laughs> at the beginning of the night last night, you you would miss a step. You would kind of trip a little bit and just like giggle about it. Uh, after I finished cooking the food last night, we were taste testing it and talking about it. And we heard a massive boom. Sounded like a, a nuclear weapon went off in a nearby <laughs> town. And we looked over and you had you had walked directly into the glass door. I you're, know. You're just smashed your face. The, the, it, it, you can zoom right now probably to the oil imprint on the door. Her face is still there. Later on in the night we were hanging out and we're on this elevated deck that's just over the, the desert. And there's this like windmill-esque sculpture that represents the windmills in the air made of um, sharp metal blades. <laughs> and you stumbled and you fell off a cliff into a spinning blade, basically into a jigsaw. You (laughs) fell off into a saw 
And then Jeff told I went to bed after that because I, I realized that death was nearby. Well, and at after that, point, that I thought a hundred percent a limb had to be sliced off yep. or you know an eye fring yep. or something. But you That's were unscathed too. Unscathed, not a single scratch on you. When you went head, to no, not head really. with the spinning death wheel. Yep. And then the hammocks. And then at, and then yep, fell off the hammock about six seven times. And then you guys were hanging out there after I went to sleep. And you told me, Jeff, that she ba- uh, fell off. Well, there was a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on with the moon last night. It was, it well, was, ever since David <laughs> discovered it, it was, you know, been problematic ever, ever we since. We tried to get pictures of it. They looked a lot cooler last night. But uh, we went out to, everybody was going to sleep. We went out to look at the moon. And he told me to keep an eye on her, which I guess it's my fault. I didn't do that great of a job. No, you weren't. You and Sky, were, Bree, were doing a terrible job all night. You got a hand holder. You got to watch her because she, she's well, clumsy. Well, I didn't, I, I didn't know that she was this clumsy. I didn't know that a person could be this clumsy and still be alive. Yeah. Still be a functioning person that is not in a fucking wheelchair or something. I don't oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Steve, you took the phone to your ass, bro. Oh, just, oh. <laughs> bro, just. She broke her nose. She hurt her, her nose. When I closed the door, I was just thinking about that. Bro, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we just had a bad accident. <laughs> yeah. Nobody laughed. Nobody laughed. Nobody laughed. Nobody laughed. Because I felt that I've been in that situation. It's embarrassing to run yeah, into a fucking screen door. Bro, her or face oh, that was really still... nice that nobody laughed. <laughs> no, we, we and surprised. then we just talk about it on the podcast the next day. <laughs> 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 the reason why I wasn't in the after part was because I was with you, making sure that you hadn't, you know, so, oh, my. severed your brain. Also, in the because that, that clip was like ten minutes long. At the beginning of that clip, you see David walking in and closing the door. <laughs> Oh, actually, it shows yeah, the, cul- set it up. the culprit. I had a feeling that I was going to do that. Like, I, I was like, this door looks very clear. This like, I, I have a feeling I'm going to. It run looked like it. it was open. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a weird thing about it's also, gl- about uh, glass. Oh, it's like, well, you know, it's, it's, it's you can see right through it, man. <laughs> but I thought about that. I was like, I'm going to run into this, but then she did before me. Yeah, so. smash her. Oh, you really drilled that thing, and then when you fell off into the into the saw, I, it was like it was like being in a. Uh, an, an always on fatality part of Mortal Kombat. And then you said at the end of that she fell off what equated like the top of the Twin Towers. She literally tumbled. <laughs> he said she fell like 50, 60 feet off a fucking off a cliff. <laughs> and he just heard a thud and had to go down and fucking resuscitate. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It was a, a knockout, sort of like a UFC slam where they, the guys <laughs> pick them up and they slam them down. And you're like, how the fuck did they get knocked out? They fell on their back. But yeah, it was wild. Look at her dude. legs. Can you see her legs? They're just all I know. Bruised. I have like war bruises right now. So, this life really well, is like an adventure. So you, you came and you conquered, you know? You of came the streets. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. So with, look, the glass door, it's definitely a problem because it's too clear. So we left your face print up there so we don't run into that problem again. <laughs> <laughs> we, we let you out. Now you start walking and I go to close the door. And the second I turn around, she does this cute little twirl with her um, puff, your, your uh, vaping device. And a white claw. And you spin, and halfway through the spin, you just drop, and it was <laughs> another loud bang, like another nuclear bomb went off. Happens, yeah. So but I run over because I thought that there was no way that you could still be alive from that. And I go down there, and you're out. So I'm, I'm like, fuck, I'm the only one here. It's going to look like I killed you in the desert. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Do I just fucking off myself here, too? Do I jump off into the spin death wheel, too? <laughs> I'm tripping out. I'm like, no way this is happening. I'm trying to make sure that you're, because you're, you're out and I'm looking at your limbs. I'm like, is anything broken? I try to straighten you out. <laughs> and then I'm trying to pick you up to bring you to, back to safety, to land. And you're, it's a, a, like a limp body is heavier, tiny girl, but you, I was trying to lift you up and I'm trying to <laughs> pull you up. <laughs> this looks so fucking bad if there's like security cameras or something, oh but I'm trying God. to nurse you back to life. I'm trying to bring you to safety. So I carry you back inside a fireman's carry. And then you finally wake up and I'm like, are you okay? And you're like, yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? You're making this up. (laughs) And I'm like, am I making this up, man? I know I just saw that. How is she not dead and unscathed? This doesn't make any sense. I feel like that's definitely something I would say. The best part is I don't remember like falling. I had a great night. No, that's probably the worst part. (laughs) No, that's the worst part. That's not supposed to happen, Em. You can't do that. You you youngins got to. No one can ever teach you this stuff, though. You just got to learn it. I'm going to behave myself tonight. We're not going to party and have fun? Guys, we want a Jew party. You missed out, Stephen. You missed out. Tonight we're going to read books and educate ourselves about how where wind comes from. For 
where the moon came from. Me and Jeff are leaving for Greece on Wednesday. No, not like that. By the way, I think Barber's coming, right? Yes, sir. Coming out there, we're going to meet Logan out in Mykonos. I'm excited. So when what'd you say when they're watching this episode, we're where? We will be in the last I think we'll be in Italy. Italy. You'll Italy. still be in Mykonos partying yeah. and we'll be on a family vacation because I promised my parents we'd go to Italy to the motherland to meet family I've never met in my whole life. And you're going to the Duomo mm-hmm. to see the statue and that's all you're doing. We passed over something important no, here and it. I want to touch on this because yeah. this has been the highlight of the week so far for yeah. us. Yeah. I filmed a, a story of you with holes in your sock. I thought it was funny because, yep. you know, you're a millionaire and you don't give a fuck about these things like your socks having holes in them or your Yeezys that you wore for three years straight every yeah. day. Yeah. So um, I made this TikTok. Well, I, the, the story was doing well on Instagram and I decided, well, let me post this on TikTok and see what happens there. So I give it off to Kyle, my tech guy i'd say or fucking what do you call it my my tiktok uh tiktok technician yeah so we find this new technology that the chinese government has created that uh, a robot ai can create a melody from you typing it steven i know you're looking at us like we're old but you can't figure this out how to make this fucking technology i can it it, no you can use tiktok to do it but it's insane you could just write something oh you mean like and we even wrote in names we put in logan paul and she sings it logan paul yeah that is crazy how it is so <laughs> Obviously, last night we thought it was a lot. We thought it was the funniest thing ever. Yeah. In, in I, I probably world. watched it. it might have been I think the you had like seven hundred. Yeah, it's like thanks. Thanks for Are coming. Are you done? Can Emily? You get over it? Yeah, she's fine. No, you can you can go. Nice. nice it would be nice here to come back where we just don't just tell embarrassing stories no, about you. Uh, thanks, thanks, Emily. They they all thought we were morons. I mean, Stephen and Kyle. And and by the way, I, I I commented on it after you posted on TikTok, and said, "Yo, this lady singing this caption." And obviously, it was tongue. What I was saying was tongue in cheek because I understand that the technology exists to create that. But it, it, like, bro, think about it. Like, the Rolling Stones writing process and what it looks like for them to write "Beast of Burden" or "Fucking Under My Thumb." You know what I'm saying? Like, hours in the studio of like collaborative, you know, uh, um, planning with the other band members, right? And you just type this caption, and and this this robotic woman made simply of ones and zeros that sits inside a database, inside a server somewhere. It's trapped by the Chinese Communist Party in a server. They've, they've, they've put this poor woman inside of their server. Uh, 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 and and this, this new generation, they don't get it. They think there's nothing wrong with it. They're like, oh, you guys are just old. It's no big deal. This is the first time I've been freaked out by AI killing us. Yeah. Because oh. they say, the, look, Elon Musk could go on Joe Rogan and say, it's already too late with it. You know, I don't believe that shit, whatever. But after seeing this, yeah, at least humans were able to be creative, have emotions, make fucking hooks, make melodies. Yeah, this Chinese government now has found out how to fucking create human emotions, make songs, make art. Bro, see, now bro, robots can make art. Bro, did you see how she was she was able to succinctly fit the last NFTs in? So she sped it up on the second. Can you play it back one more time? She switched her flow. Completely switched the flow up. It was almost like it was almost like she had uh, an engineer in the other room saying, "Yo, yo, yo!" On this next one, who switched the flow up to fit the last three letters in? Like, bro, this is uh, the fact that you're not blown away by this. I that, that is, these that these communist fucks <laughs> have this it's, have this woman trapped in a server and has to work all day to create these melodies for TikTok stars so they can create fucking stupid 15 second videos for the shit payout from the creator. How else does it make sense? They gotta have a woman trapped. It's not that it's not crazy. It's just been a feature that's been in TikTok for like months now. This is funny to me that y'all just found out about it and like thought it was so hilarious. Yeah. I, it's still just as crazy to me as it is y'all. Like that's crazy. But it's the fact that <laughs> y'all just man made by the, it's, by it's the, the man made fans. It's the fact that y'all have just found out about it. It's like been. Well, bro, you want to know why? The fact that you just found out that wind <laughs> is not man made is a little more crazy <laughs> than the fucking woman trapped, trapped. In a, inside a phone. Like you think it's like you think it's a code, bro. But this is a real human sentient. Be- oh yeah, it's not. We Steven typed in letters. Steven, we Steven. typed in NFT, and she knew it not to say. It's by a melody. It's it's, it's the same. How did she not sing? How, go on other. Nifty. Go on. 
She's Joanna, saying she NFTs. She knew exactly what to say. She knew exactly what to say. Steven, go on the uh, uh, other TikToks that have that melody, the same <laughs> voice. It's the same melody, but with different words, and it's pitched a little bit different. Steven, I don't care what you're saying right now. I think it changes the whole dynamic of music and art in, in general. Yeah. I mean, all of it, dude. I guess that's, all right, you know, obviously... Maybe what are they going to come up with next? Cheek. Wait, wait. What are they going to come up with next? Well, think about it, dude. Computers doing podcasts? Talking about 100%. their fucking... Okay, hold on. Let's talk about some of the other places where this exists. NFTs. Fun, oddly enough, because that's what this lady was singing about. A lot of NFTs are created uh, generative art. It's like self-made computerized art. Right? Is that how they made the Bored Apes? Did they just like, well, put have in seen, all no, the Have characters you seen the Dolly thing? Just, no, what was it? Dolly, like you just put in like whatever phrase and like it'll like make like an image out of I've it. I've seen that where you, no, yeah, you could put in like uh, Hulk, the Hulk using an ATM uh, and, it, and it creates <laughs> like, it creates the art. Give me, give me a phrase. Dinosaur chicken nuggets in a bathtub. A bathtub this? filled with dinosaur nuggets. <laughs> nuggets. Just, just unfucking real. Can you do, can you do a, an ATM machine that dispenses lettuce? <laughs> There you go. Look That's at that. that. <laughs> look, look at that, dude. That looks real, almost. If you would have just showed me that middle one, I'd be like, yeah, wow, that's... That's interesting. You know, they got an ATM that dispenses <laughs> lettuce. Maybe we could use this to predict the future. Type in Andrew Tate fights Jake Paul. No, yo, type in... Yo, can you do me a favor? Yo, okay. Can you type in Andrew Tate in 2024? <laughs> yeah. And see what, and see what it brings... <laughs> Is he's he not in the picture. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's vanished. He's spontaneously combusted. Andrew Tate. He in, got taken out by. He got taken out by a Roman candle <laughs> propane tank accident. <laughs> he joined the what lacrosse the team. But be careful what you fucking say. <laughs> why, is he, why is he on a college lacrosse team? Why is this happening? There has to be someone named Andrew Tate in lacrosse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. That's All right. Today's episode is also sponsored by Avast. Avast is a global leader in cyber protection for more than 30 years and trusted by over 435 million users and prevents over 1.5 billion attacks every month. Avast empowers you with digital safety and privacy no matter who you are, where you are, or how you connect. Enjoy the opportunities that come along with being connected on your terms. Avast's new all-in-one solution, Avast One, helps you take control of your safety and privacy online through a range of features. Because Avast believes essential protection should be available to everyone, a free version of Avast One still includes award-winning free AV, free VPN, free firewall, and much, much more. Avast privacy features keep your identity and actions hidden. If you got all types of sketchy actions going on on your computer like I do, some then legal gambling. Want, yeah, you're going to want to have a vast one. Some other features that I love about Avast is its award-winning antivirus that stops viruses and malware from harming your devices. VPN, allowing you to connect safely and securely to public Wi-Fi and conduct your business wherever you want without the fear of a cyber crime. I was using the VPN in when I was just overseas and I wanted to watch the UFC fights. They were blocked in the country I was in and I used my Avast One VPN and I was watching those fights, baby. Thanks to Avast for supporting Jeff FM. Confidently take control of your online world with Avast One. It helps you stay safe from viruses, phishing attacks, ransomware, hacking attempts, and other cyber crimes. Learn more about Avast One at Avast.com. Thank you Avast for sponsoring Jeff FM. Now back on with the show. What, you wanna pop in? Come yeah, pop come in, on, come on, come on come in. Pop in. Guys, uh, I, I should mention really quickly, we, we have had a lot of visitors on this trip. This is another one named uh, Sophia. No, you can go in the middle. You want to go in the middle? So, so Sophia, let's give a little background here. We met Sophia at Coachella 2022. Um, great trip, great time. Ton of fun. Great time. I don't think we talked much after that, and then recently you moved to L.A., and now you're, you're um, you know, dumbing yourself down by joining us. On, on I don't know like what I'm this. doing. Yeah. Um, what do you think about what's going on with AI and, and TikTok and more importantly, the Chinese government? Um, Talk to the mic, get a closer round. I don't really have many opinions about this. That's the problem. Yeah, that's, that's, see, that's the problem. You're a sheep. You should feel strongly I, about this. I don't feel very strongly about it because I like making TikToks and I think it's fun. That's a, it's such a fun app. That's it's so why they fun, suck and I love takeoff. scrolling on it, and it really has has destroyed my dopamine receptors. Mm -hmm. Would you, let me AI, let me ask you another question here? Did you see the TikTok of Mike's socks? 
the holes in his socks. Did you see it? I did see that. Did Wait, you think, where did I did see that? Did you think it was funny? Yeah, why do you have holes in your socks? Because I don't care about anything. But did you think like the song and stuff was funny? Yeah, I think you guys really enjoyed that because of the mushrooms. However, I find the song itself to be quite annoying. Yes. And it gets stuck in your head. But that's not what it's about. What is it about? Because there may be other songs. It's about more than that? The experience. There there may be other songs that you find annoying. I don't know. We'll probably look back at this podcast in 10 years and be like, damn, we should never take mushrooms again. (laughs) Should we take callers? Let's Uh, get into it. Let me... uh, Or do we have uh, any segments or anything? Yeah, I have a confession segment. Steve on thinks when is man-made. Steve on thinks when is man-made. Steve on thinks when is man-made. Stephen thinks the wind is made. What was that? Stephen thinks wind is man made. 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 Guys are so mean to Steve. Thank you. What the fuck? Thank you. Why is she I feel bad for me? him. Thank you. Someone Why sizes me. Doesn't deserve they're old. It. They don't understand. They're jealous that I'm youthful <laughs> and young. You don't deserve I'm the, the young hate. buck in town. Oh. Alright, now you're getting a little yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 we're leaving all that in that we're, leaving, we're leaving all that in Because people need to see this side of you, Steven That brings this out of us We care about you Okay, so for the first time ever We're going to be trying a new segment here Where we do confessions Callers can call in You guys can do it uh, If you enter on our Patreon or Discord Or wherever We'll, we'll put the link down in the description um, we love to chat with you guys And involve you in our stuff So Let's see how this goes. We can maybe never do this again, so I don't know. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Jeff FM. You are our first ever contestant on this confession segment. Let's see how it goes. Oh my God. Okay, so my confession. What's is your full name that... and address first? No, I'm kidding. You could <laughs> okay. be, remain fully anonymous. <laughs> yeah, this is anonymous, right? Yes, yeah, that's how we absolutely. want it. Okay, well, my confession is that I have a like major crush on Oscar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oscar just uh, Oscar said that only said the call up. So, <laughs> <set the address>. <laughs> 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 how much is he paying you? Oh, what do you want to call in for? Look, <laughs> no, look, 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 I said, I said, I said, give me like a little preview, and then she's like, oh, I can't tell you, it, it'll ruin it. I promise. I'm like, I'm not going to tell anybody else. You know, else you're here. chatting with Oscar. He's the one who sets the calls up, so you already have that uh, connection. But go it's ahead, elaborate. Fun. What is what is it that you see in Oscar? <laughs> um, okay, I just I think Oscar is like the most slept on out of like the whole squad. And you're trying to make him the most slept with. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> all right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the least okay. slept on? Like the most overrated character? Not overrated, but like I feel like I see what other people don't see in him. No, no, no. no who just, do you think? Yeah, who's the, who's most, the most overrated? overrated? It's not. This is not a shot at you. We're just asking her a question. Out of any um, character that's been on the channel, she could say me. I'm the. My well, name's stop, on the wall. The weatherman. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, maybe the weatherman. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> okay, let's yeah. go. Nice. Okay, fuck him. Okay, because I I do feel like the weatherman. Doesn't try. Yeah. Low effort, arrogant. You know, yeah. I agree with you there. So, um, cool. Well, looks like you yeah, already no, have just, Oscar's information. Well, yeah, there. I just wanted to give Oscar like a little shout out. Thank you. Well, thank you for right. calling into the show. Thank you. Um, thank, you. thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you. Do you want to try another one, Oscar, that you didn't set up? I didn't I didn't set that up. I asked for, like, she just no. said it would, do it would we, be like. Do you have another one lined up or no? Yeah, yeah. This one, this one uh, sounds funny. Hi. Hi. Okay. Welcome to Jeff FM. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Okay. You do are a second contestant on the confessional. Second ever. Second ever. Yeah, just jump into it. Let us have it. Don't hold back. So- when I was like six years old, I was at my best friend's house. Just um, we got out. this really weird idea that we were going to like. So we went into her closet and we sprayed like a ton of perfume in each other's buttholes. <laughs> and we were really young. And I oh still see God. this girl like every day. And I never talked to her since. And she was like my best friend. Oh. Now, are you looking to. Have, maybe have a, a chat with her about this or you just want to sweep it under the rug pretend it never happened and maybe she forgot I forgot a lot of stupid stuff that happened to me when I was I a kid I also smashed I my head up pretty good forgot. though 
What, yeah. what, 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 what perfume was it? If you don't mind me asking. It was probably like justice perfume. Cause we were so young. Did you notice, yeah. did you notice anything different about any, like, did you have better breath as a result of it? Like, did it manifest itself in any other organs? Actually, I Mike. did notice that my farts did not stink for a long time. See, that's what I'm asking. Oh, was that the goal of it? <laughs> yeah, it was. To actually. eliminate farts. Yeah. Oh. You might have. You might have. You might be onto something. Yeah. But I think it can cause like rashes and stuff, so I don't. I don't. You don't. Rec it. You wouldn't recommend it, right? I didn't get <laughs> anything from it, Would but you yeah. Want to spray some <laughs> perfume in your ball later. But look, uh, uh, maybe like, maybe certain yeah. situations. A rash is less embarrassing than uh, ripping ass and, and, you know, blowing up a whole room, stinking up a room. Maybe maybe dealing with a rash for one or two days is, is better than a, a traumatizing memory of a farting. And like, hey, sorry about that whole farting with the perfume thing, but uh, better luck next it's life. It's okay. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy so you happy got that off Bye. your chest. And out of your butt. Yeah. Thank you. I love you guys. Thank love you, you too. Bye. All right. Look right in that camera. Which camera? It's the straight, the deadpan one. People always tell her that she looks like my ex. Do you see that? Lana? Yeah. Yeah, no. I see it a little. Never heard that before. <laughs> you all have, Kira, you have everything. Oh my God. Love yeah. Mike and he's mine. <laughs> That's the only reason I have why a I lot have of her. Lana ones, but I don't want to like, Get you all oh, trauma oh, out. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, this is funny. So, so even though I said we met at Coachella, she actually. No, 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 no. I won't say this. We can cut it. We can cut it. She's she had actually jokingly slid into my DMs one time and said, "People say I look like your ex." That was kind of like her her slide in, and it got my attention. I responded. I thought that was a good. I'm not enjoying this. You're not the only people girl. still people comment that all the time on my like TikToks and stuff like that. You're not the only girl that's ever done it, dude. It's not like and it's it's not a bad thing. I think girls should be shooting their like you didn't even shoot your shot, you just made a statement. Like it's, it's not getting, like you were trying to fuck. It's getting spicy in here, huh? I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Whatever. We don't care about this. <laughs> um if we look, no, look, let's, if let's get back to let's well, get back to what's going on. Can I say this to all here. the rest of the girls watching this? If you're a girl out there and and you feel afraid of shooting your shot, don't be. It's a two-way world. If you want to fucking send a DM to a guy, send a DM to a guy. Don't fucking be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I second that. Well, like the back then, team. I would just send a lot of reckless no, I know that. DMs because I didn't think anyone would actually answer. Right. And it I'm was just funny. Any, I'm not putting any weight behind the message. I thought it was funny. It was a joke. I'm saying that all the other girls the out there. The other one was a lot funnier. The one that you said after that? Yeah, but don't say it. Well, I, now, you, now I want to. No, oh, don't say fine. it. Emily, you want to pop in for the grand finale question? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I saw an article the other day about nuclear bombs going off. It's UFO baiting. And they say when explosions happen, that's when the UFOs come down. I've been thinking a lot about aliens lately, and I feel like they're coming. And I just want to know what Emily thinks about all this. I think that... How, I mean, how can you not believe in aliens? The other day, um, NASA released this really cool photo um, from space. Did you guys see it? James Webb. And that's only like a fragment. Like that was just like a little like sand piece of what the whole like what it could actually show, which was already like thousands. What did they thousands show? Thousands of galaxies. Like the galaxy. Correct. Oh yeah. But it was galaxy, it was like stars. it was so pretty. Black holes. I mean, bro, like she said, that image, Ooh. did you hear how she described it? Do you yeah. understand it? Yeah. That image represents if you held a grain of sand in front of your face at arm's length up to the sky, that's what that image represents of the overall universe. Wow. Which is One already massive. One grain of sand. That's mind blowing. <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't said anything yeah, about he does not, he does not give like a fuck. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> when <laughs> this man, the wind. What happens if an, an alien lands and comes know. over to you and it's just you two? You're the only one that sees the alien. Steve, I think when this man made.
Steve, I think so. I would, I would be scared. I'd be more. Would you uh, run or talk, would you talk like, more to be the like, mic. oh, you come in peace and or like, what? Yeah, I'd stick around. I'd hang out. Put it in your mouth. I think no. <laughs> Don't test me. So you would welcome the alien, be like, let's just fucking be cool. <laughs> yeah, because then what if I ran away and it would like kill me? Chase you down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's probably best that you like approach it like in peace. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. This seems this seems like a good time to have this conversation. And I hate to keep going back to it, but I seem to have a one track mind and having you here, I want to talk to you about this. Okay. How do you think aliens fuck? Like something tells me that aliens. Do you have think they fuck? A hundred percent. Can I ask a question before that, and then we'll no, get to yours? No, Listen, I'm, Mike, my let me run, I'm running the fucking show yep, here. Go ahead. Why do you think aliens always go for the ass? They always go yeah. and probe. Yeah. So, what do you think makes aliens attracted to the ass? Anal probe. The yeah. For, uh, they because do. butts are beautiful. The question's um, not for you, Stephen. Right. I don't know. Do you think a butthole? Do you think butts are deeper? Let's change the question. Have you ever sprayed <laughs> perfume in? <laughs> In my ass. It's a way to neutralize farts. We, uh, <laughs> it's new technology. It's a new trick that people can do. It's like, you ever see those life hack videos? I mean, I put enemas in my ass. What is that? Is that, what is is that the same thing? What is it, enema? It's when you clean your butthole out before anal sex. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. I, have good, I have a good topic. Do y'all well, use? I guess that would work better. Do you guys do butthole tanning? Not me. I don't do that. I'm not, I'm not saying I do that. I'm just wondering if you guys have ever done that. It's called, what is it called? It's called sunning your genitals. And yeah, it's a it's belief just... that you're, you should. Can I ask you guys a question? Do you ever notice that when somebody says something and everybody's like, that's so dumb, I know exactly what they're talking about and have a full explanation? <laughs> like, why do I know the answer to what he's saying? It's called butthole gazing. It, no, it's, yeah. It's, well, you, it's just supposed to sun your genitals. Yeah. It's like a whole thing. So, like, Kyle, how in, important is this qu question bro, over here? I've been actually thinking about it since last night. Okay, so back about back to the James Webb your telescope James Webster. or whatever the fuck it's called <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. all right it's 2,000 light years away right facing away from us and what it's not that far away from us anyways so <laughs> when we look at a star we're looking at it like before like it could have been exploded yeah, by now yep. so the no, it, time it, it difference it is. right it so what if we turn the telescope back at earth would we look at it in the 80s? Would we look at it in the 90s? It, it's it's not that far. Like it, it's only like. But if it did get far enough, uh, could that be a way to look? How back? do we even no, get because, that because, fucking information? Because the the, the, the information even, would still take the same amount of time to like travel back to us. Bro, we don't even have Wi-Fi to do this podcast in the desert. How the fuck are they sending us our pictures of Earth from 8,000 light years away? I don't get it. I think it's all What's a the, fucking. What Kyle just said made me physically gave me physical pain for See? some reason like i tried I to about i tried night. to manage what you said and it and it, now I, I feel well we got the numbers all wrong i feel like so, i'm having an aneurysm you know what was dope kyle said. you spotted that fucking we thought it was a shooting star oh, at first but it was a satellite, satellite yeah. a, a elon satellite. Satellite. at first i was like yo that's a shooting star and i was like wait that's a plane and then i was like wait that's not a plane it's a satellite yeah it's it there's like, something about seeing man-made stuff just up in space floating around is, is pretty fucking we could have looked up what satellite was too so it's, a song, it's a song by the dave matthews band sure so why yeah. do you what do you think aliens fuck like dude i gotta ask <laughs> yeah, i gotta yeah, ask yeah, that yeah, question because yeah, yeah. i'm okay because here's well, why obviously I'm they're into anal but do you think that aliens have like Dicks and, yeah, uh, I don't know. That's the thing. That's like, the, what, that's but, the question I'm trying they to. Have they got to long fingers. Like, dude, then yes. More. Like, remember when <laughs> ET could fuck? Simon with, remember when ET's finger would was like dick would too. glow? Imagine if he could just simply <laughs> press that onto the finger of another alien, like a female alien, and they just orgasm and and and. Fuck oh, do you him. remember? Okay. Do you remember Avatar? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, they would okay. tie the, the hair yes. thing together. Yes. I'm gonna say I'm gonna. Uh, we did confessions corner today. I'll be I'll be I'll be one of the confessors. Obviously, you know I consume porn. Sometimes I even consume porn stars. I'm a consumer of porn in general, just the entire industry. <laughs> and I like to talk a little bit about the kind of porn I watch. Now, do I watch Emily? Maybe. Do I watch my ex? Who knows, right? <laughs> I know what Steven does. One thing. That's a dark piece. <laughs> One thing I he watches the same as Mike. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He's like we have something in common. <laughs> Steven, since dark you've gotten piece. to this house, have you looked up anybody's name that is also staying in the house with you? Nope. 
<laughs> Let's check your internet history. No, no, no. no. All right, back to Mike. Back to Mike. No, no, no. Because I'm embarrassed that it actually is in there. I, I would actually bet money that it is in there. Okay. You know, one one thing that I can't I, lie. I may have. I, no, let's move on. Let's move on. Which one of the two? I'm not. I, it's not. It's not my confession. Which, I'm which not. one of the two I just named have you watched? <laughs> I was saying Emily. No, I didn't look it up. I was going to, but then I I, I stopped. Oh, you were gonna look at my porn last night? <laughs> I didn't. I would have been so flattered. Really? Yeah. Why? She well, was I was like, like, I did too. I did too. Well, I was busy yes. trying to save your life, <laughs> so I didn't, it didn't feel right. I I just wanted to make sure that you uh, didn't have any <laughs> broken too, yeah. broken so, limbs. Okay, so, go. Yeah. So I uh, I don't watch that stuff because I'm too busy watching hentai porn bro four-legged eight tentacled beasts having sex in alien atmospheres by penetrating with their tentacles or their massive have you ever seen the giant demons that have dicks that are like the size of buildings yes and they (laughs) do you know do you know what i'm talking about hentai Mm -hmm. Look oh, up well, hentai. It's like full yeah. anime. It's, it's full like full anime. anime. It's no, like I know fucked hentai, up like, like anime sex, bro. Big building like, dicks. But it's one of the more like popular like genres of porn. It's like, oh, I'm not that weird for that. Like that's more no- that's kind of normal. No, yeah, everybody watches it. I okay. watch it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright. Because like sometimes you don't want to watch like your coworkers. Like, what if, for me, like I don't want to watch. I definitely like, don't want to watch my coworkers. Yeah. Fuck. What if alien sex isn't as like minimal as you think? What if it's like so extreme and violent? Right, like like visceral, like just fucked it's up. It's gotta be. Just it like be. crazy. Like well, now I'm just wondering, like if they have dicks. I mean, I they have to be having sex though because they're recreating. Yeah. Yeah. I would. And then I, do they if, get pregnant? What if they're like eggs being hatched yeah, I, too? I, I they're not so, pregnant. Yeah. Oh, asexual reproduction. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So they don't actually have to have penetration involved. What if they just like clone themselves? Yeah. They or they just push a button and one shoots out. Just of, like conveyor belt. They just type it into a TikTok. Uh, or an AI, AI. AI generator. I have another uh, random question here. I have here. to pee over Go for it. Say aliens did invade us and they wanted one thing and that's to have sex with a human. And one of us had to step up and say, you know what? I'm going to do this for all mankind. I'm going to fuck that alien to save humanity. Yeah. Would you do it? I don't know. But I also, now that I'm thinking about, like, this vicious sex, work. like, it's going to... It's not a word. What, it's Vicer, not. Vicious is not a word. <laughs> it's, I don't care how you try to cut it. It's not. It's not. It's just not a word. You can't just make words up. So, <laughs> is it really not? It's not even close. It's a, the, the closest word I can think of would be licorice. <laughs> it's just not even, it's not even a relatively acceptable word. What are we trying to say here? I guess you can, so, viscerous, okay. Viscerous is a word. So, viscerous is, is a word. Viscer- I think you're right about that. Vi- vi- okay, so, okay. All right, I am so, right. Let's pause for yeah, a sec, yeah. please. I get really big on the vocabulary. I thought you were going for vicious or visceral, which okay, are both words. But visceral. but I believe but I believe viscerous may also be a word. And I feel like viscerous means like... Alien sex? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, not. that's exactly. It's, it's not. Well, it hasn't so happened yet, so I'm maybe we need to make up the word. Come back out of this alien sex, freaking destroyed. Yeah, you would get, you would get, you would get fucked up by an alien. <laughs> you would get fucking. Dis- that would be like dread. But does she yeah. live? You, every alien I mean, dick if I could do dread, I could do yeah, an alien. Yeah, you could take dread. I could do dick, anything. Dude, you could take an alien dick for sure. Because dread's dick, bro, is like the size of like forty-two cans. It's like this. It's really no. It literally is the craziest like thing I've ever seen in my life. When I first saw it, I was really afraid. Is that why they call wow. it that? Because is it, do you call it? That, do, is that his name? Because you dread doing the scene. No, I wouldn't necessarily say you're like, dude, because but bro, it is it's a mental like you, it's like, like a hurdle. You have to prepare yourself. But then after the like really after the first time that I had sex with Dread, I was like, I can do anything. Wait, did you do? Uh, <laughs> wait, did you <laughs> fucking unstoppable? Wait, did you do Dread uh, in the ass? Like, for, sorry, vice versa. Did you take Dread in the ass? Yeah. Oh my god. Like three times. I would just I would describe his dick as a full paper towel roll, <laughs> like when, with not even a single sheet taken off, <laughs> like an entire three ply we'll paper that towel. A sound roll. Bite. <laughs> That's what I would say. It's like, bro, and Emily's small, dude. That's wild, wild. Cr- but it's so visually like appealing. Dude. Yeah, I'm sure that video's got how many views on it. I don't know how many views. Well, now I know what to look up. 
Are you going to cut this thing up? Get this thing out the door. I'm done with this we'll shit. We'll get it out in, yeah, three weeks. Uh, do you... Do you girls have anything to add? Do you I just want to add one more time as a disclaimer. You know, just know what you're doing. To be with the right people. Talk to the right people. Do the right things. I don't, I don't take any of this shit lightly. Um, and, you know, am, am clean from all of the vices still and have been for 12 years now that, I've, that used to affect my life. But I do believe in the, in the long-term benefits of, uh, of certain things. And so do That's your research, dark piece. do your, get your education on topics and talk to the right people and do what uh, you think is right for you. Or what other people think are, is right for you, uh, doctors, yeah. scientists. I did a lot of research before we jumped into this trip. Is and that good for your brain or bad for you? Uh, shut up, Dr. Mm. Lehman. <laughs> He'd probably say, oh, don't do mushrooms. What does he know? He never even tried them. All right, let's, uh, let's wrap it up. This was fun. Guys, I... Thanks I had, for having me. Yeah, thanks for just being so cool. I had such a great bonding experience with, with all you guys. Yeah. Let's do it again tonight. Oh, what's that? Love you guys so much. Let's Bye, get you, guys. Let's Love get you. you a nice bubble wrap suit so we don't Ooh. run into any more yeah. things. The spinning blade of death. All right. We'll see you next time. Oh, but one last thing. Sorry. Can I say one last thing? Mm-hmm. Hey, I just want to give one quick shout out to uh, Jeff FM audience. Wrap it. A lo- Go for it. This is like our thing, Mike. You know? It's just we talk about a lot of top tough topics on the show, and it takes a certain kind of audience to understand, receive those topics. Clearly, they're an intelligent, intellectual, intellectual, uh, and, and receptive audience. So I just want to say shout out to, to Jeff and Fem's audience for, for listening. Thank you. Very Especially nice. shout out Why So Uh All right. That's it for today. See you guys next week. Shout out, Mike. Ha, ha, ha.